What is up everyone? I have a brand new news video for you today. And today's one is full of quite a few interesting things. So let's get right into it. So we did the live stream yesterday and we talked about this on the live stream. However, it is certainly very important to mention this on a video. The Facebook X Ray-Ban glasses are now officially out. They're $299 or 299 euro, depending which country you're in. And they've got everything that pretty much every other smart glasses have, except they also have cameras. No, they don't have an AR component. So that was confirmed for us. No AR in these ones, but you've got a three microphone array for, you know, taking calls or speaking to people. You've got headphones in them so that you can listen to music just like these, or, you know, answer phone calls in them. And you also get the two cameras allowing for some form of a 3D stereoscopic video that you can later on edit within the app. Now, this does have a limitation of only being able to record per 30 seconds, which is kind of annoying, but then again, I guess 30 seconds would be enough for most. But then there's also the privacy aspect. You know, people hate Facebook and they're already quite concerned about the Oculus Quest constantly listening to you and watching you through its cameras. Well, now you're going to be seeing Facebook cameras out in public. However, just to bring your worries down a little bit, you won't be seeing them on me because I can't justify that price tag just for adding two cameras to my glasses when I've already got glasses that do basically everything that these do for a lower price, except for the cameras. They don't do that. <laughs> so while I do think it's really cool, especially for the POV aspect, I guess the thing that really pushed me not to get them is the 30 second thing, even though that is reasonable. I mean, come on, they're glasses. They're not gonna have an infinite amount of storage, but yes, and you will need a phone to utilize most of their features. But again, that's understandable. You want the phone to kind of do quite a bit of the work. They also do have an assistant for you guys to talk to, just like these ones can have the, how do I say this without triggering everyone's devices? The Alexa. <laughs> and uh, these also have the Google assistant. Facebook's ones have, uh, hey Facebook and Facebook's own assistant. I wonder how that will compare to Bixby. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys getting Facebook's glasses? Yes, they do come with prescriptions for $599. I guess that's also what pushed me not to get them. Even though you could just go to your local optician and get prescriptions installed, just like I did here for much, much cheaper. But either way, that's Facebook glasses for you. Pro Upload VR. Unplugged, exclusive new details and gameplay in new video. Another ways, Unplugged has a strange pitch. It's essentially a Guitar Hero game in VR with no controllers. Do you guys remember that one device that used to clip on? You'd receive it with the CV1 and you'd be able to clip it onto your guitar and it would essentially allow you to play guitar in VR. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was definitely there. I certainly remember it. And in fact, if I looked around, I could probably find it somewhere. I don't remember what it was called, but essentially you'd clip it onto your guitar and you'd be able to play your guitar within the CV1. It was it was pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that. Former guitar hero figurehead Marcus Henderson is on hand to walk us through the new gameplay for the upcoming music title and reveal how another way is utilizing finger tracking technology to bring the art of air guitar to life. Now that already sounds pretty interesting. And because these are exclusive details, I'm actually just gonna send you guys over to Upload VR to check that out in case you're interested to find out more. The links, as always, are going to be down in the description below. And do let me know whether you remember that one little device from the CV1, in case I'm just imagining it, but it was definitely there. I Expect You To Die 2 is a huge, massive success, and I mean that. I Expect You To Die 2 has made $1 million in less than a week. Now, if that doesn't show you how successful this game franchise is, I'm gonna call it a franchise because we've already got one, now we've got the second one, and with a huge success like this, well, I'm sure as hell expecting a third one. I myself haven't actually got to play it yet because as people on the live stream from yesterday would know, I'm actually quite busy, but I am looking forward to being able to check it out hopefully sometime during the weekend. It looks really fun and definitely keeps with the theme of the first one. And making $1 million in less than a week? Well, that should show you how successful this thing is. Let me know if you guys have played it down below. Did you enjoy it? How fun was it? Just don't spoil anything for me, please. <laughs> okay, this is one that was actually posted on our Discord quite a while back, and I feel really bad for not noticing this because I really should have, but my notifications are messed up on a whole new level. I don't know if anyone else has this, but I've heard it from a few people. My Twitter, YouTube, and Discord notifications, half of them I just don't receive. I think I receive so many of them that my phone just gives up at a certain point, and so does my PC. So I certainly apologize for not being able to see this because it is really cool, and I do want to bring people's attention to this. And I certainly apologize once again 
again because I'm going to mispronounce your name. Not on purpose, I'm very bad at pronunciations. So user Lvanasek on Reddit has posted an image of 2D transparent Android apps. So Android has had the ability to display transparent apps for quite some time now. The thing is, it's just kind of useless because why would you do that on a phone? Now we do have transparent menus and things like that where you can change the transparency to just kind of match your style. But imagine this in VR. So what Lvanasek has done is created a Quest AR launcher, which is really cool. And the link for this will of course be down in the description below in case you guys want to check it out or download it because there is a GitHub link inside this Reddit thread. So let me read what they have written. Android has had support for transparent apps, but on mobile, it doesn't really make much sense. On Quest, it makes sense. With pass-through, it looks really cool. It cannot be captured. I can imagine that it will be used with apps on future AR glasses. But yeah, it certainly does seem like this could be a great, great use case for these transparent apps in the future. You know, with AR, when we watch movies and futuristic movies, we see these transparent displays and these transparent menus floating around the user. It only makes sense in AR because you want to obstruct as little of the user's view as possible because you're kind of merging the two realities together. So this is incredibly, incredibly cool. And I cannot wait to see what developers do with this in the future. This is also the same person, by the way, who made the AR demo that we checked out in the last video. So that's really cool. Props to you. From VR Scout, the 2021 Venice Film Festival has invaded VR chat. It looks like we have another event in VR chat. Just like we had VCAT, we now have the Venice Film Festival. Explore 37 groundbreaking projects from 21 countries, 35 custom made worlds, and five live events hosted in VR chat. Ooh, I definitely want to check this out. The Venice Film Festival is back with yet another selection of genre defying VR projects from some of the most exciting creators in the field. This year, event organizers are taking its Venice VR expanded program to the next level with even more immersive offerings than previous festivals. Open to attendance now until the 11th, attendees can explore a catalog of groundbreaking experiences in person at the VR gallery in the Palazzo del Casino. Lido de, de Venezia? Wow, uh, okay, my language is now broken. Sala Amici, reservations required. Wow, reservations required? Damn. It's almost like VR is becoming like VIP access now. Damn, that's cool. I might try force my mom to go there with me today. Thanks to a partnership with HTC's Viveport and Facebook's Oculus, attendees can also tune in remotely via PC VR or Oculus Quest headset and enjoy this year's selection in VR. By logging into the popular VR social platform, VRChat, festival goers can explore a custom-made virtual event space where they can immerse themselves in this year's offerings, chat with other visitors, and participate in a variety of live events. That sounds unbelievable cool. Again, I might try force my mom to go there with me today, or maybe we'll just do it later on. But we kind of have to try not to stay as long as we did last night, because we did kind of weird stuff, broken stuff until 4am. And then I was like, oh wow, it's 4am? I need to wake up 8.30. Okay, bye. <laughs> you just don't notice. VR just sucks you in and you don't notice. For anyone interested, the Matrix trailer is now released. For anybody that was on the live stream yesterday, you would have seen how cool and how like it sends shivers down your spine with the matrix website the website is uh the choice is yours dot what is the matrix dot com and it's really cool essentially it knows where you are and it kind of tunes the video towards you it sent shivers down my spine first time i saw it because it told me my exact time the trailer showed me my exact time it's really cool but yeah the official trailer is out now for anyone interested. Matrix was a good movie. Uh, I definitely recommend it in case you guys haven't seen it yet. And a free roam VR game, Eye of the Temple, is coming next month. So from VR Scout, explore a jungle temple riddled with deadly traps and complex puzzles in a full body VR experience inspired by classic adventure films. After an impressive five years of development, Danish independent developer Rune Skovo, it's either Johansen or Johansen. I'm gonna go with Johansen, has announced the official release date for the highly anticipated free roam PC VR experience, Eye of the Temple. In this unique full body experience, you'll take the role of an Indiana Jones-esque adventurer and explore an ancient mountaintop temple located deep within the jungle. So that sounds really cool. I've seen a few games pop up like this in the past, and we've had a few kind of escape the temple games. In fact, I believe there's even one in the Oculus Quest trailer, but it does look really cool. And after an impressive five years of development, I'm honestly excited to see what they've conjured up. So this one certainly seems quite interesting. And if you guys are into those types of games, I would certainly recommend you check it out. And that is going to be it for today's video. 
Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. Thank you all so much to everybody who was in the live stream yesterday. I would deeply like to apologize for anybody that got invaded by the Bean Army or to anybody whose question I didn't see because of the Bean Army. Yesterday, uh, the beans that the beans in chat were just too intense. Unfortunately, live chat can be quite hectic and sometimes I just don't notice all the questions. It's really unfortunate and it does make me feel bad, but it, it's that's just the way live chat works. But yeah, thank you all so much to everybody who was there yesterday. You absolutely made my day. Uh, as I explained yesterday, yesterday I wasn't having the best day, but talking to you guys always just puts a smile on my face. And then we hopped into VR chat and we did really dumb stuff. And I did like three more handstands and almost broke everything. Like I thought I was actually going to fall and die. But thankfully, I didn't. So that's that for you guys. Join join our world. It's called the Misty Lounge in case every day you want to see some crazy stuff go down. We've been in there pretty much every day. Props to the slime trackers for holding up with my crazy shenanigans. But yeah, that is going to be it. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to join our Discord down below. Make sure to join our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spice memes. And if you guys want to be notified of future content coming up on the channel, make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you my bell in the next video. Peace.